In this video, I want to show that dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. Now, let me explain what this means. Suppose you are dividing, say, 4 divided by half. So here the question is, 4 has got how many halves? So the question is, 4 has how many halves? How many halves is the question. So obviously without doing any maths you can say one whole has two halves. So four holes or four has eight halves. Now how do you do the maths? Now for maths to get the same answer you are doing four divided by half is same as four times two over one. Now two over one is a reciprocal of two. Reciprocal means a number which you swap around. The numerator becomes the denominator and the denominator becomes the numerator. So one half, the reciprocal of one half, this is one half, and the reciprocal of one half is two. Okay, or to be a bit, uh, if you want to understand the mathematical maths behind it, if the product of two numbers is one, they are said to be reciprocal. So this is when you're multiplying fractions, you do four times two, over 1 times 1, which is 8 over 1, which is 8. Now, 8 over 1, sorry, 8 over not 8, 8 over 1, which gives you 8. Okay, but suppose uh, if this is also applied even in addition, not in this manner though. Suppose if it is say you want to take 4 take away 4 plus 2, okay, now 4 plus 2 we know is 6, is same as you can change this into a subtraction question like this. This is 4 take away negative 2. To change an addition to a uh, subtraction question, you have to do the opposite. So 4 take away negative 2 is same as 4 plus 2. So let me show you that on the calculator. Some of you may not believe this. So you go 4 plus 2 is 6. You, know, you should be knowing that. If you go 4 take away negative 2, you're taking away negative means you're adding. It's the same answer. In the suppose, does it work in subtraction? Yes, it does. Suppose it is 4 take away 2. 4 take away 2 is, we know is 2. That is same as 4 plus negative 2. 4 plus negative 2 is same as 4 minus 2. So let me show you that. 4 minus 2 is 2. That's very clear. But if you go 4 plus negative 2, that will also give you 2. Okay, so does it work in multiplication? Yes, it does. Okay, let me see. 3 times 2. 3 times 2 is 6. We know that, but that is same as 3 divided by half. Three, the reciprocal of 2, the reciprocal of 2 is 2 divided by half. That both answers are equal to 6. So let me show you that again on a calculator. 3 times 2 is 6. But if you go 3 divided by 1 half, A, B, C, 2, that's also 6. Or you can also go 3 divided by half is 0 0.5, is 6. Okay, so this is one very useful thing that you can uh, understand and learn. When you're dividing by a fraction, it is same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So let's do this question first, doing the maths, and then I'll show you. Uh, with the help of a diagram. So 4 divided by 2 thirds is same as 4. 4 can be written as 4 over 1. 4 over 1 is 4 times. You have to do the reciprocal of this number. Okay, so you're changing this division to multiplication. And so you have to change this number to its reciprocal, which is 3 halves. Okay, and then you go times 4 times 3 over 1 times 2. So this is 12 over 2, which is 6. Now this, for some of you, it can be really difficult to understand. Okay, the answer is right. Let's do it on a calculator. Okay, so this is 4 divided by, let me put this in bracket 2, A, B, C, 3. This is the same as 2 thirds is equal to 6. Okay, let's do this. Uh, in a help with the help of a diagram. So let, I'm going to draw uh, four circles. Suppose this is one circle, 
Okay, and I'm going to copy and paste this. So this is copy, paste, okay, paste. So these are four, imagine these are four parts, okay, and I want to divide this into thirds. So I'm going to change this into thirds. So I'm using a program called Maths, Maths tool. So this is thirds. So this is also I'm going to divide into thirds. Very interesting to see uh, and learn maths in a diagrammatic manner, graphical manner. So this is thirds, and this is thirds. OK, so our question is, we want to divide 4 into 2 thirds. OK, so I'm going to shade this. I'm going to use this coloring device. So I'm going to use the red color. OK, oh, sorry, red is this. Okay, or oh, let us use blue. So this is two thirds, this is two thirds, this is two thirds, and this is two thirds. So how many lots of two thirds can you see? And let me uh, label, uh, use a different color red, okay? This is one third, one third. So the question is four has got how many two thirds, okay? So can you see this has got, this is one two third, this is the second two-third, this is the third two-third, and this is the fourth two-third. Okay, so you can see four two-thirds. Now, if you join them together, I should go the other way around. Oops. Let me move this. Oops. Hmm, I should have. Oh, okay. So this is just like, oops. I change the dimension, sorry. So can you see this? This is, I should increase this slightly. Okay. Yeah, and I think, so this is one, this is the next two thirds. And how should I move this? I don't want to change the shape. So yeah, here we go. So, Okay, so can you see this is one lot of two thirds? So let me name this. This is one. This is the first two thirds. This is the second two thirds. Three, four, five, six. So there are six lots of two thirds in four. When you're dividing six into two thirds, the answer is six. And this is how you can understand in a diagrammatic manner. So let me put this better. Okay, so this is the six two thirds.